Disco Biker. Barefoot Acrylics here. Okay. Um, I did this record album. This was the very first one that I used any type of mixed media on anything, and I just put dried paint strips on here. This was my mother-in-law's record album. Anyways, it needs another coat because there's some bumpy things there. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to fill some of my molds. Okay? Come along with me, folks. So, I got my resin all mixed up because nobody likes to sit there and watch somebody stir for three to five minutes. Gives my arm a workout, let me tell you. All right. So, I'm going to... Where did it go now? Covered up my small torch. There we go. That ain't it. There it is. Let's get rid of some of the bubbles while we can. All righty. Here we go. Just don't want to ruin this because this is my special album. Uh, everywhere I take this, people want to buy it from me. And this was not for sale. This goes on my wall in remembrance of two things. My mother-in-law, Mom Rosemary, and also being my first record album that I covered with resin and mixed media. So it's got double purpose for speciality. Okay. And I'm out of rubber gloves again, so I found a couple packs of my cloth work gloves, so guess what? It's better than nothing at all. Before I was taking plastic wrap and wrapping around my hand with a little rubber band on it, but I'm at, this is the very last, I mean literally the last of my resin right here, this cup. So yeah, I picked out what projects I wanted to do ahead of time before I mixed it up because I knew I was on very limited amount here. So we're going to do what we can. I wanted to get some resin little jobbies made up before Halloween because uh, my mom makes up baggies for my cousins and, you know, the nieces, nephews, people that, you know, relatives that come through and friends that come out every year. She makes up little treat bags and then you know, puts their name on it, so like little babies, they'll get a stuffed animal in with their goodies, and the bigger kids will get like a bigger candy bar or something like that, and and she puts, you know, candies and gums in there for them, and they really like it. So anyway, I wanted to make some of them little molds, so I could throw them in the bags, because on Halloween morning, I'll be in surgery, but I don't know if, they're definitely not going to be well cured, but maybe if I can get some done... You know, they can take them home and let them cure on their shelf. You know, it doesn't take long for it to harden up, but you want them to cure for a while to make sure they're set up all the way through and they're, they're, there's no sticky residue or any of that stuff. You want them to set up really good in the molds before you even pop them out. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. They might have to wait till after Halloween. But I wanted to get it on time, but probably won't. I don't know if this will be the last layer of resin or not, because I'm not putting it on real thick. Uh, there's probably always going to be a bump right there, but... Yeah. All right. Around the edge. spot I totally missed. I better drizzle some more on there. Make sure we get it all covered. There we go. That'll do it. Ah. Right on, right on. Squeeze that puppy right out. My hands still get a lot of resin on them, but it's not as bad with these gloves on. I still got to wash up, mind you, but it's not quite as grody. Okay, we got a lot of air bubbles we got to pop. Alright, let's get that nasty thing off. Tune the ear bubbles and we'll break out the bigger torch. Make sure it gets some of them out. Ah. Tell if that's 
Nope, ain't covered. I knew it. Doggone it. Where is it? There it is. Right there. There, we got it. It's one of the reasons why I take my little torch, because while I'm getting the bubbles out, I'm looking around the edges, seeing if I missed anything. And I had missed, so. I may or may not put another layer of resin on this. We'll see how it dries. That's a good thing about it is, you know, if you don't have enough on you, you can always come back later and add more. I just filled this thing with Whip It, and it does that. This particular torch, yeah, you got to burn off some of the excess. Oh, come on. It's weird sometimes. As long as you don't hold it on there too long, it doesn't hurt nothing. All right, that's enough of that. Usually it fizzles out before that. I don't know why it's got such giant flamage. I don't know. It's weird. We'll fine tune it with my little, my precious one here. I really like this little torch I got it at the dollar store. So once it's out, it's probably I don't know if I can. I, yeah, I can get should be able to get the little butane refills for that for that little hole elsewhere. Cause this is a good little torch. Plus it's glow in the dark. Comes in handy. Okay. Yeah.